Good morning, I just came back from China at 2 a.m. last night and I didn't work out for 19 days. Down the headlights as I'm leaving you behind. So find another victim to keep you warm at night. Cause I won't be there waiting just to hear another line. And I don't care what went wrong. You had your chance. Now I'm gone. Stop holding on. You break down cause you know that it's over. I never did that for the last five years, but I didn't work out. I couldn't find any gym. Uh, food was really hard for me. Um, first chef ate, but at the end I was just like going to McDonald's because I couldn't like eat anything else, seriously. Uh, it's just, it was hard, seriously, it was really hard. I don't know how many pounds I lost, so we'll weigh myself right now. One sixty-six point four. so I lost about nine point something pounds, 10 pounds in 16 days which is pretty intense and it's pretty much just muscle <laughs> so this is the hard part so I'll show you my physique right now this is the update physique i will work to get it back um so that's all i'm looking right now on this date on november 16 at 166 pounds 66.4 it's not so bad for someone who didn't work out for the last 19 days I still got the tricep, you can see my back, still got the chest, my abs are still there, so if you guys go on a vacation, don't worry. If you built it over the years, your physique, you will not lose everything if you don't go work out. I just did the experience, it's 19 days without working out, never did that. But I will go back to 180, 185, I'd say. I don't know in how long, because my focus will be on strength now, uh, but I know we'll get back to 1, 175 pretty quickly. And that's it. So guys, I'm finally back from China, as I said in the beginning of the video. And mentally, I think I'm stronger than ever. Uh, it's been an incredible journey to not be able to eat as much as I wanted, not being able like to work out as much as I wanted. Uh, because that teach me something, that taught me something. It's, it's not just about training, it's about the lifestyle. And when I say that, it's not like, oh, he will stop training like he used to, or I will become less in shape. That's not what I'm saying. It's not the end. Training, it's not the end. Training is a tool for me. Training is a tool to expand my mind, to expand my physique, to expand my performance, and being able to do what I want to do. It's not just being a rat in the gym, you know, and just training, training, training. I want to stay active. I want to be able like to travel the world. I want to be able like to climb mountains and for me training is a tool especially for my mind because it's like my meditation like i said in many many of my podcast episode uh, in many of my videos and i think it should be a tool for everyone it should be something that helps you to expand your mind and your physique as well and just to become a stronger faster more explosive version of yourself so you can use it in any area of your life after it can be to do mixed martial art can be to do uh, any type of sport, you know, just to increase your performance. Um, so yeah, that said, I'm back in town, back in Montreal, and I'm ready to crush it like never before. And I will do a new workout series for you too, which will uh, be focused on gaining strength, gaining um, size, and to be more explosive. So, and uh, when I say explosive, it's just like being able like to, if you train in MMA, then when you enter in someone, you know, you, you, he feels it, you know, or if you do any type of sport or sprinting or anything, you, you have the power to do it. Uh, so my training right now, my, my new workout routine will be focused on that for the next two months. And then I might just go uh, more in hypertrophy depending on how it goes. Uh, but for the next two months, I will go more in strength and uh, it's gradual. So I'm starting with eight repetitions and then I will go down to six, then four, then three, and then come back up uh, along the weeks. Uh, but yeah, the full training program will be all explained on my website on marfit.com will be free for all of you guys. Um, but today it was just a video just to say that I'm back and to show the first uh, the first day that I did uh, to come back from China and not training during 19 days guys 
you don't want to rush things too much. You want to make sure that your body is ready and that you uh, are still flexible enough, that you, you warm up yourself properly. 19 days, it's a long time without training. And especially like every single day, I didn't eat as much as I should have. Uh, as I told you, like in the beginning of the video, like 1,500 calories, sometime more, sometime less. I was walking six to seven hours a day. Uh, but it's been, it's been such an amazing experience to go in China because it's totally different to every place. I did like over 30 trips in the last three years, guys. And never seen something like that, never seen. Uh, it's, it's been good, uh, it's been hard. It's been hard mentally to go like in, you know, in shitty places sometime and sometimes you see some amazing things. So it's always like up and down uh, and you don't even think about like eating. It's more like survival mode sometime. I enjoyed my trip. I've recorded over 500 clips from there. So I will do a crazy video about it. I don't know if it will be on this channel or on the vlog channel because I want to keep this channel for fitness stuff. Uh, but I might share it with you if you guys want it. So please comment below if you want this. On the other hand, here we go for the workout. I'm done talking. <laughs> I started with some chin up uh, weighted chin up, eight repetitions. So I took 50 pounds to do my four sets and that was it, a minute 30 rest. And I kept it really basic for the first three days of workout that I will have uh, this week. I don't want to go too fancy. I just want to get into the motion uh, and just warm up my body for what's coming. So the first uh, three days will be just compound movement. Class when I say classic movement, it's just like, you know, the basic. I started with the chin up, eight reps, four sets, a minute 30 reps between each set, and then I went to deadlift. Uh, why deadlift? It's just because it's good for your entire body. You work out everything, your lower back, your leg, your traps, you uh, work your rear delt even if you do the, the right pull. It's been good to do some deadlift. I'm pretty sore today because I did it yesterday. And then I went to bench press, I did eight reps, four sets, and all the workout guys, it's eight reps, four sets, pretty basic, a minute 30 rest. Uh, and then I went to incline dumbbell press and that was it. So I did my workout, it took me, I was it 35 or 40 minutes, not more than that, and then came back home, had proper nutrition, proper meal, and that was it. This is just the first day. I know you guys will be like, damn, this is just nothing, you know, it's nothing crazy about it. But I just give it all, you know, I give it all. I've been able to lift some, some good weights. I was proud of myself, even though that I know I can push even more, but I, it was a good comeback. It was a good way to feel again that I have it, to make sure that I don't injure myself. And it, it's, it, it's, kind of, it's kind of like riding a bicycle right now. For me, it's just for the technique and all that stuff, you know, coming, I felt that I was, I didn't, I didn't feel that I didn't work out for the last 19 days. Pump was okay, wasn't that crazy uh, because I know I need to put more nutrition in my body and just to be back, you know, and just bring some more blood flow to, uh, to the targeted area that I want to work out. Uh, because when you are like just doing some hiking and all that stuff, it's more like your legs, your cardio, a bit your shoulders, your traps, but not that much. Uh, I didn't really use my body. For sure you use all your muscle guys, but you know what I mean when you, wasn't like isolation workout at all. So I would say like the first three three days that I will work out, I will share with you the, the, the workouts, but this is not the workout series that's coming. It is just me warming up myself and coming back from uh, a long time without working out and just getting in the mood again. So you might want to try this workout. You might don't want to try it. It's up to you, uh, but it's been hard. I'm sore today and just classic compound movement. Well, hello? Oh. Okay, perfect. There's someone just entered in the warehouse to check, check something. <laughs> but yeah, on that, I thought I would, I would talk about that. It's just success. A lot of people um, ask me, oh, have you been so successful? Success, I feel that the more, the, the, the older I get, uh, my definition of success will change and it all, will always change and the definition of success is yours. Your definition of success is what is successful. It's not doing what I do, it's not doing what anyone is doing. It's what you define as success. There's no... Uh, for sure, it's, it's good to see people, you see them doing stuff, but if for you money is not important, this is not the definition of success, you know. If traveling the world is a definition of your success, then this is success. 
as long as you're happy doing what you want and that you wake up in the morning and that you love what you do, this is success. This is just a success, whatever it is. Just do what you feel is right for you and not trying to appeal to everyone and don't be glamorous about it. There's no point of like trying to show off to people or anything, just be you. Don't buy stuff to show it to people, but make sure that you do it because of you, not because it's the standard, you know. Just make your own definition of success and just act upon it and just be yourself. Always stay yourself and just enjoy it. If you don't enjoy something, just stop doing it. If you feel it's not the right thing to do, then just don't do it. On that, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, comment below. I will be there replying to your question and I will be back with a new video soon. Uh, sorry for the lack of upload. been traveling, internet wasn't good there, uh, but I'm back now and I'm ready to crush it and I'm ready to achieve what success is for me. For me, is creating content for you guys, giving you information and at the same time traveling the world, creating what I envision and just waking up every morning and just enjoying myself and enjoying my life and and being as true as possible with myself and not trying to act like a certain way because sometimes you feel like the king of the world and you feel that you need to show off. Uh, but every single time I gotta, <laughs> like life is still like, will send you some sign all that you're not uh, true to yourself and you need to come back to who you are and just try to help as many people as you can and uh, just enjoy what you do. So that guys, I will talk to you soon and a few all.